So right guys, here we have it. The absolutely gargantuan box. You can see it in my hand. It's quite a big, big size box, but you need to to fit essentially two full arms in it. So without further ado, let's have a look in. Sprues, full, full to the brim. So first off, we have a softback um, theatre uh, supplement, essentially. Um, so this will go into more of the special rules from uh, Black Powder 2. Uh, so these will be like theatre and era specific, basically, for American Civil War. So I've got a few pages of like the overview and history of the American Civil War, um, why it went to war and stuff. Then we go into the rules. Um, so there's some terrain rules. Uh, going to the army. So obviously this is the the fighting values of the cavalry. And we go at cover modifiers. Um, and it here, so unlike normal black powder, you can just move straight through. However, the modifiers try and move through your own friendly units, all the weapons and stuff that they have. Uh, this is quite a important part. So here, since you see the, the regimental um, stats and stuff, but it, more importantly, it tells you the, the base uh, size, so the amount of stands, sorry, per regiment. So here, a, a regular infantry is five stands, and so that is literally one sprue will create a regiment, essentially, or a battalion um, to use here. And obviously it goes into the stats, so it's six dice in hand-to-hand, -hand, three dice in shooting, they've got a morale of four plus, and then they've got three stamina. Um, yeah, so that's quite a, an important part of the rules of this uh, the booklet, because it tells you the how we're going to use these the epic scale more than the uh, glory hallelujah booklet uh, book is great but that just adds more like scenarios and stuff so this is you will need this to play the epic one uh, then we've got different generals uh, so george mead we get him uh, as a promo as well and and robert lee so we get both of them and then we go into some scenarios. So like here, for instance, it says like four infantry. So that'll be four lots of five stands of infantry. So 20 stands of infantry and one artillery is in that brigade. Um, which I think actually the artillery is two, two guns make one battery. So, so you get a sense of the scale. It will be quite large, um, which is cool. That's why we we're going to be trying this in a smaller scale. Um, I usually play Napoleonics for black powder. Um, so Polish, Prussians and Russians. But um, quite a few people I know are into the American Civil War. So as soon as I heard this was coming out, I have got to give it a try. And then we go on to some absolutely beautiful um, flags. These are really nice. It's on a nice like writing paper so this will once we cut this out with a knife and then PVA glue it we'll be able to model it nicely around the the standards so yeah they look nice they're the confederates and then onto the union not quite as many union ones um, but really nice they've got nice specific ones yeah they just look very nice the iron brigade uh, they're coming out as separate so these wards they're coming out separately um, they're up, up for pre-order now, but um, yeah, and we've got some nice Sarissa Precision, they would make lovely, lovely scale uh, terrain. Two farm buildings and then some snake fence, um, which is iconic to the American Civil War. And then we've got a huge old box of sprues. So, 24 sprues all in all. 
Like I said, 2,400 individual miniatures if you just to count them all. Um, clubs are in strips of 10. Um, so they've done blue and grey. So if you wanted to go out of the box, glue them together. They have green bases and then these grey and blue, so Confederate and Union. If you wanted to go for that like risk board game look. Um, <laughs> the the grey is not going to show up on that mat that we've chosen. So if I get that as a backdrop, and we'll just show you one of the Union ones. But I said they, they've decided to use the same sprue for each one. Um, this does make it cheaper all in all, but the I still think they look really nice. Um, and when painted up, um, we'll show you some painted examples at the end. Um, they do look fantastic. Obviously, depending on the uniform, you can tell who's who. And what would the you get the command stand? So the, the two standards on there really make it pop out. Each base comes with one gun and a mounted general for the commander. I think it's going to look fantastic. Um, black powder always looks impressive on the table. Um, and at this scale, will really, really look good. Like I said, we've got the, they've already announced the, um, the Zwarves, Cavalry, Iron Brigade, and uh, Skirmishers are coming. Dismounted Cavalry and um, like Supply, uh, supply Wagons and uh, gun carriages and stuff. So again, it's it's all going to look the piece, the part when it's on the table and painted up. We get a wonderful A5 second edition black powder uh, rule book. I believe this is the full rule book, the full, same as the hardback, just shrunken down. Um, very handy. Even though I've got the hardback, this is the sort of book that I love to have at the gaming table. Just makes it a lot easier to play with. Six dice. They are what they are. And then we get on to the promotional models. So we've got General Lee and General Meade. Each one comes with a standard bearer. Uh, I believe the standard bearer is the same. We'll get some close-up shots of these. These haven't been painted yet. but So these are promotional figures. Um, we're giving them out with every core box that people buy. Um, and yet we'll get some painted examples up um, as you can see it's the five stands together form one battalion um, so yeah the like I said when the list says for a scenario you need four times infantry that's four lots of what you can see now on the screen um, so essentially be 400 of these little miniatures but yeah as we're looking forward to demoing this in store uh, we might do some playthroughs of it for youtube and stuff because it just it's it's going to be breathtaking when it's done um like a full battle not saying we're gonna be able to do gettysburg with it there's a lot of soldiers there but we'll see we might be able to get some of the the smaller battles done um they still they're still gonna look great even in the scale so cheers guys